Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a reading for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, of course, watch it. Wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, and even if you do not, please try to use the energy in this reading in a helpful way for yourself, or please just leave this reading right here for someone else. Now, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Cancer, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Cancer. Cancer energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it could be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, clearly and concisely, ancestors. Please and thank you for everyone's highest good, Cancer. Any planetary placements, show me what I need to see. We are truly, truly grateful. All right. You're very defensive for some reason. You feel like you need to protect yourself. Perhaps there's competition in a situation or you just, you know, are persevering through something here where it feels like, you know, maybe people are attacking you. So here you are. Gaining some confidence and growing, gaining some momentum, taking the lead in a situation and deciding which path you want to take towards success. It's about growth, okay, and looking ahead. At the foundation of the situation, we do have a six of cups. People, places, things, and situations from the past resurfacing. Somebody could be 63 here. Somebody could be 76. All right. Or 36 or 37. Show me what's crowning. What's crowning cancer? Any planetary placements, please? Crowning you, Cancer. Ooh, you got some kind of surprise or shock. Something that you do not see coming. Something that's going to shake shit up and shake it down. It's Scorpio energy. All right? The tower is the 16th card. Six in one reduces to seven. Something about July, perhaps. This is some kind of change that, you, that you're not aware of. A shock, a surprise. Let me see what's going on. Don't lose your temper when, or, you know, maintain your balance when this happens, whatever it is. Show me what's going on here. Okay. Now, you got an Eight of Swords in reverse. Ooh, and a Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. There's a situation here with an Eight of Swords in reverse where you are reclaiming back your power. You are surrendering to whatever it was that had just stuck in your head, and you're releasing it and letting go. It has something to do with some kind of financial ruin or some kind of, yeah, maybe some kind of family fighting over money here. Somebody might be going through some kind of a foreclosure or some kind of financial failure. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Does my slipper mean anything to you? Does it? Good boy. All right. Let's get back to this. I'm sorry, Cancer. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there's, you know, some kind of poverty, some kind of breaking of traditions, perhaps, some kind of financial failure. And whatever it is, because that's what you're looking at, like you, you have no control over it, so you just have to let it go. You, you, you're not worried about it anymore. Or, you know, you're just not worried about finances in some way. Whatever had you stuck in your head, you let it go for some reason. That's good, though. I mean, that's good. So what's in the actual environment, please, for cancer? Cancer. Here you go. Page of Swords in reverse. So either you could be watching somebody or somebody could be watching you. It's a Page of Swords in reverse. This could be some kind of bad news. It could also be legal or tax situations. The Page of Swords in reverse... Uh, this is an energy of someone who's backstabbing, biting, maybe gossiping, trying to get some kind of information here. All right. It could be dealing with somebody who's young or immature. This could be somebody from the past. Somebody might have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah. Specifically. Show me what the best advice for cancer is, please. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, okay. I'm hearing soft white underbelly. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's like a cat or something showing you its stomach and you're petting it. Like a soft white underbelly. I don't know what that means. Okay, whatever. Here you go. Now, you got the emperor crowning you. I mean, that's the best advice. So listen, that's when somebody takes charge and takes the lead. Okay, like over here. This is like your challenge or your supporting card. To get, take the lead, gain some momentum, have an end game. The emperor is the best attributes of everybody. It's a very stable, dependable energy. It's somebody who's in control and a leader. So somehow here, you need to get some kind of control, cancer, and take the lead. Perhaps over a situation from the past or some kind of new shocking thing that's going to hit you. But whatever it is, the good thing is, is the Eight of Swords is in reverse. This is freedom and empowerment. And it could be over financial ruin or some kind of family fighting or an inheritance or whatever kind of bullshit Ten of Pentacles for you is in reverse. All right? And you do have 
some kind of spy craft. Not in the health, right? Well, the, you know, there's never, listen, when any, ever anybody's watching, it's not good, right? Like, I don't like nosy people. Spirit's advising you to take the lead here and take control of the situation. Especially yourself. Take control of yourself. Show me what the, um, what the most likely outcome, please, for cancer. 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 Okay, cancer. The most likely outcome is, ooh, you're going to have your wishes come true. You're going to have healing. You're going to have hope for your future. It's the star. It's Aquarius energy. There's a renewal here. There's some kind of inner clarity. Some of you might be seen in the spotlight because it is the star. And some of you might be spreading some kind of knowledge. All right? Um, the 17th could be of significance. That's eight. That reduces to eight in August. There's going to be some healing here. That you're going to, whatever this is, there's going to be some healing. Now, two of swords. Somebody here may have to compromise or make a decision, okay? Two of swords is also when you feel like you're stuck in the middle of a situation. You don't know what to do. But whatever it is, whatever you're in denial about or you don't want to acknowledge, especially about your emotions that could be clouding your judgment or something that you don't want to see here, but you're already aware of it, something's going to make you very happy. Something might be illuminated to you. See, illumination here every day, all day, okay? Do not lose your control or your balance when this happens. Maintain this. You could have a soulmate coming in. You're going to have a very huge victory. A new solid foundation. A start in something. It looks like your finances. And then you have the four of wands. Some kind of happiness, contentment, family around you. You know, lovers, marriage. It's, it's beautiful. It's going to make you very, very happy. Okay? Now, you do have the 14th, which reduces to 5. So, something about May or the 14th. We have the 19th. 19 reduces all the way down to 1. So, maybe something about January or the 1st. Or the 10th or October. Okay. Somebody could be 67 here. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be 71. Someone could be 40. 46 or 56. Here we go. Let's. Oh, by the way. Cancer. Thank you very much for taking the valuable time out of your day and joining us. We see you. We acknowledge you. We love you so very much. Okay. Um, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio as the most predominant. Yeah. There's some kind of financial failure, inheritance, family disputes, a breaking of traditions. Oh, that's what it is. Look at that. Did you see that? Something like this going on in your in your financial arena here. And it seems like you are coming out of your head about it. Or whatever it is. Show me. Please and thank you. There's going to be a significant change. Now, this could be in anything. It could be in your finances. It could be in your lifestyle. It could be in your diet. Maybe some of you are moving. Maybe some of you are changing friends. Maybe some of you are changing mindsets. Somebody could be moving from the country to the city or vice versa. There's a house. See what I'm saying? There's some kind of real estate. There could be a change in some kind of... Somebody's moving. All right? Somebody 29 years old. That's 11. That's November. Maybe in November. It could be moving to some kind of, you know... This looks like some kind of historical property or perhaps a gated community, some kind of community. One more. One more kipper. Here we go. Lover. See what I'm saying? Ooh, Gemini energy for soulmate coming in. Ooh, that goes my nose. Can't stop. Some of you getting love out there. 51 or 6. 666 across the board is to open up our heart chakra. And while we're on the subject, playing for your healing sound bath in the background, it's 182 megahertz today. It is our solar plexus chakra. Which is located in your belly button or around there, okay? The element of fire. It's passionate. The mantra is, I do, I do. It unlocks your inner power. It raises your confidence, energy, and vitality, and it helps you manifest. Any yellow crystal you can think of at all. Yellow adventurine, yellow jade, yellow tiger eye, lemon jade, some golden calcite, perhaps. The culmination of this is that you're going to be happier than you've ever been happy. You're going to have wishes fulfilled. You're going to have healing and clarity. It's beautiful energy and hope for your future. Some of you are going to get some kind of message that's going to involve money here. So whatever this is with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, don't worry about it. Somebody's coming into court, somebody here. It's, your finances are about to be rectified. Or if you're having any kind of financial issues or if you're having any kind of concern over the breaking of traditions and maybe disputes over finances. Whatever that is, okay, for anybody here. Let's get you some uh, hidden truths. Please and thank you. Here we go. All right. I love you. I love you. I love you. We love you. We love you. Whether you heard this today or not, we love you beyond recognition. And we are sending health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity 
to infinity and beyond. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And we will be together again. Also, I want to tell you how I feel. So somebody wants to open their mouth and tell you how they feel, that they want to be together with you again. They did something to you, but they blamed you for it, but they love you. Okay, Cancer? Now, these are moon phases or other astrological placements that are going to maybe be of significance to you. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay? By the way, could you hit a button? We don't care which one. The like, the subscribe is what we're rooting for. But if you need to hit the dislike, do that as well. Just please get your energy in and the message out. You truly, truly are grateful. Here, detoxify everything, right? I'm feeling guided to say something about apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar detoxifies everything. So good for you, okay? Braggs, B-R-A-G-G-S, apple cider vinegar. Somebody needs to incorporate that in their diet, dietary thing here. You could be dealing with Taurus, Taurus. You also have Pisces. You could be dealing with Pisces. Forgive. Forgive yourself first for not knowing what you didn't know until you knew it. Forgive everybody else so that you may move forward in a positive direction. We have the full moon twice. Give me one more for cancer. Please and thank you. Something about koi fish. I'm seeing beautiful koi. Okay, now you got the new moon. You could be dealing with the sign of Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. I told you that already. All right, here we go. It's the bottom. This is the bottom. Look at the bigger picture. You got the full moon three times. Sagittarius, Pisces, and Taurus and or Libra. Let's get you some letters, Cancer. Thank you again. Here we go. All right. Regal, Regal, Rigal, Bob Rigal. I'm seeing that that comedian Bob Rigal. Regal, I don't know what the fuck his name is. Here we go. Um, Two I's, O, two R's, L-T, L-G-T. Um, let me see. Okay, we got four eyes. So somebody needs eyeglasses. Somebody needs to go get their eyes checked. Then you got R R L G M T N N. Something about mountain time. Yeah. All right, close the energy for cancer. Thank you guys. We love you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity, act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.